All right, welcome to our second video in our short how-to series about Hunsoft. And in the first video, if you didn't see it, you'll definitely want to go back and take a look because in the first video, we showcase how to get set up in Hunsoft and talk a little bit about what Hunsoft is in general. And you know, in general, Hunsoft is this web application that allows you to track and store all of your data from your hunting properties, being you know sightings, trail camera photos, kills, and it allows you to put all that information online organize it and then associate you know different corollary data such as weather time barometer moon phase all those different things tie that back to those settings and trail camera photos and then allows you to learn things from that and so in the first episode we talked about how to set it all up how to create a property how to upload photos how to upload sightings but now we're going to take a look at what I think is the really neat stuff that Hunsoft does, and that's how it analyzes that data. So we're going to take a look at the different reports you can run and the lessons that you can learn from this information. So let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go to your reports dashboard. And this is going to show you all the different reports that are available through Huntsoft now that you've already entered in a bunch of trail camera photos and sightings. So as you can see here, there's a whole slew of different options. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through each one of these and talk about what each is. Now, it's important to note that you can go through here and you can filter these reports based on different criteria. So you can say, I want to see these different reports for this specific property. Or I, I want to see these reports for you know this specific buck or for only bucks or for only these dates. You can do all these different reports and then filter it in these different ways. And it makes it very powerful. So first we're going to look at movement by hour. This report is going to take a look at all of your data and then shows you when you're getting your most sightings or when you're getting your most trial camera pictures, what time of day these things are happening. So as you can see here, you know, in this case, I'm getting a lot of my activity in the evening hours here. Um, that, that high point is in the evening. Um, you'll be able to see here again when that, those daylight hours are. And you can then filter this. So you could go and you can filter this by you know, a specific buck and see when that instance or when that specific buck is actually moving the most. Next we're going to take a look at our barometer report and this is going to show what percentage of your data entries, so what percentage of your sightings or trail camera photos are happening during either a rising, falling, or steady barometric pressure. So you can see here in this case, taking all of my data that I've ever had, most of that data is coming on steady pressure days. And then you can see here lower, at actually looking at the barometric pressure range and the different types of weather conditions that might uh, you know go along with that and you can see what percentage of activity falls into that category as well. Going back to our dashboard, our next report is wind direction and this is a really powerful one because it can then again help you see what percentage of your different sightings and trail camera opportunities are actually occurring with what wind directions. And when you start filtering this for a specific deer or for shooter bucks or a specific property, you can start learning when are these deer using my property and with what wind direction. So as you can see here, lots of uh, south, you know, lots of action with south and southwest, southwest winds. Um, again, it's really powerful when you start filtering it and looking at specific things that you can learn based on that data. Next, we've got moon phase data. There's always questions about you know how moon phase affects activity. Well, now once you add in a whole bunch of your your sightings and data, you can actually see when that activity is happening and what moon phase correlates with it. Again, here it's going to tell you what percentage of your entries is occurring with each moon phase. And finally, we're going to take a look at our last report, which is taking a look at temperature change factor. So these reports are going to look at changes in weather or temperatures and seeing what percentage of activity is actually occurring with that given temperature range. So when you go into the details of it, the first thing you're going to see is game movement by temperature zone. So for instance, when I have all my entries, you know, a lot of the entries, a lot of my sightings, and trail camera photos were taken during the summer. So you can see why there's a lot here that are in those higher temperature grades. Then you can also look at game movement related to temperature change. So what percentage of movement was occurring when temperatures dropped 10 to 20 percent? Um, lots of different interesting things there too. And then there's a forecast here where you can filter by your property and see what those temperature changes are going to be in the future. So you might be able to say, hey, it's October. Six days from now, it looks like I'm going to have a 25 percent drop in temperature. That is the kind of thing that can really help you out. 
So there you have it. Those are the main reports available through HuntSoft. And again, you know, this is just a very high level look at what those you know available analyses are. But it's really powerful what you can do here when you start looking at you know how a specific buck is behaving or how all shooter bucks are behaving on property X. When you start accumulating this data filtering it and then seeing what the reports show you you can start to learn some important lessons you can start to see hey on my lease most of the shooter bucks are only moving through here with a northwest wind all of a sudden that's something you can apply to the future there's all sorts of lessons that can be learned here when you put this data in and run these reports and, and that's what i've really found i've uncovered some really interesting things that i never would have seen if i had not you know accumulated this larger data set and then looked at how i could analyze it so that's what we've done here. This is the overview of those reports. And in the next episode, I want to give you guys a firsthand example of how I used Hunsoft this past season and how it helped me understand a few new things about one of my properties that I applied to hunt for one of the bucks I was after. So I will see you on the next episode.